Hello my wolf cubs, Melissa here, and today I'm going to be painting the Scream Queen herself, Catherine Isabel. This video looks a little different today, as firstly I had a super busy day today, so I sketched out Catherine when I was in bed last night, so there's no footage. And secondly, I bought these new multimedia pads from Arteza, and they're great, but I didn't read the sizes properly, and I thought it was closer to A4 than A3. I was mistaken, and now I have to film from a different angle, or you can't see what I'm drawing. I guess that means I have to actually wear trousers when I paint now. So the colours I'm using today are vermilion red, orange yellow, mid yellow, grey and Mars black. I have chosen these colours for Catherine because the first film I ever saw her in was the film Ginger Snaps and those films remain a guilty pleasure of mine to this day. But I just remember her gorgeous red hair and thinking, wow, who's this stunner? So I chose colours that reflect that impact she had on me all those years ago. As Catherine has those beautiful bright green eyes, I chose to paint her eyes grey instead of the usual black. I feel it looks more like her um, than if I had done them in black. That being said, Guillermo del Toro has the most beautiful blue eyes and I still painted his black. It just didn't feel right for Catherine and so I painted them differently. On to Catherine herself. Catherine is one of those actresses that you just can't take your eyes off of. She's incredibly beautiful but she just has this presence and attitude that demands attention. I've always loved watching her in any role she's been in. Unfortunately, she has been in a lot of films that have not rated well. Films like The 30 Days of Night, Dark Days, See No Evil 2, The Girl in the Photographs, and Freddy vs. Jason. Now, that last one, I have no personal issue with. I actually quite liked it, but it received unfavorable reviews. And... <laughs> I kind of hate this about her because she has this incredible ability, but I think audiences don't take her as seriously. I understand why she does what she does, horror suits her, she enjoys it and she always brings this powerful presence to the screen. That's why when she was cast as Margot Verger in the Hannibal TV series in 2014, I literally punched the air. This role fit her like a glove. She just had that right balance. She was weak when it came to her brother, but she was ruthless in achieving her goals and in the end let nothing stand in her way of success. Her performance was outstanding and I loved that the rest of the world was really getting to see her get her teeth into this incredible part. I'm not demeaning the rest of her career by any means. Her performance in everything she has ever been in is exemplary, but sometimes the overall film didn't turn out well and that often means exemplary actors get overlooked. So, I hope that she gets cast in way more. Goodness knows she deserves it. Um, Catherine, I love you, but I couldn't remember if your name had an A or an E in it, so I had to Google it here. Um, sorry. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.